can't treat us like this. Yeah, says who? Just let me go. Level 2046 has some better days. Well, it's expensive. Someone's got to pay for it. Our challenge may get to me in this galaxy. Not according to the propaganda. Wipe down, prisoner. These are the bedrocks of the Empire. Yes, how can we thrive when terrorists threaten your homes? We need your help in identifying the business center and in the future. These days, he really shows his face in public. This Good thing he's making an exception for us. Huh? We've got something that'll bring him favor with the Emperor. District secure? Yes, Senator. It better be. Ada's dogs are always sniffing about. Jedi is a rare quarry these days. What else have you brought me? See that he is paid. Pleasure, Senator. I hope this isn't the last time we get to do business together. The renegade Jedi Cal Kestis. You have made quite a name for yourself. Sabotaging weapons depots. Disrupting supply lines. Flaunting this for everyone to see. The failed coup on Norset. That was your doing, wasn't it? What do you want, Senator? A confession? You already know I've been working with Saul Guerrero. Before I deliver you to the Emperor, you will lead me to the remaining Jedi. I can't. It's just me. <laughs> no use resisting. I'll find out one way or another. Sometimes all it takes is a speech. But in there, I have other tools at my disposal. Or maybe I'll just use this. Your master's lightsaber. Jaro Tapal, a traitor like you. And to think one day our children will ask, what is this 
thing? This relic of a corrupt institution destroyed by its own arrogance. Arrogance is a trap a lot of us fall into, Senator. I'm sure the Emperor won't mind if I deliver you to him in pieces! What? Did you really think you could capture me? You've got classified military intel stored on your yacht. And you just brought it right to me. Thanks, BD. You burn for this. That's mine. Stop the Jedi! <laughs> Senator, come on out. We'll talk. to us. Uh, it's coming a little hot. Oh, really hot! Hold on! It's okay. Oh. These things happen. We gotta get to that yacht. That was a close one, buddy. It's not your fault. Catch up with the yacht. have anything for it, do you? We gotta find that yacht before the Empire does. Senators got stashed. I hope it's worth the risk. You never give up hope, do you, buddy?
eyes on the target? Not yet. Let's go. Move, move, move. We can rest there. I need to focus. Back to it. God. Yeah, she's home. She's having a sleep. I'm just got on you. I having a sleep here. Yeah, I'm just sleeping on, on the bed. Funny, she's sleeping. It's just the infection. She's got a bit, really bad water infection. Five and a half hours. Yeah, I'll ring you back in a bit, Dad. I'm just in the middle of doing something for, for Lindsay.
Let's uh, see if this is working. Test in. Anybody hear us? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Maybe he's not. All right. <laughs> nice. This, uh, the outfits in this game are just next level compared to um, the first one. You've got so much choice. Quite like the... Uh, Commando on the best because it's kind of like cl like Clone Wars armor, similar to like what Anakin would uh, wear in the Clone Wars, and then you've obviously got all your different, um, even like undershirts you can change the color. I'll just stick with that for a bit. For your saber though, you can't change that until you get to the um, uh, your ship because you need a workbench. You can even actually, <clears throat> actually I'll show you when I've saved this, you can even, um, you can direct, like change them and look like Obi-Wan, yeah that, that one's probably one of my favourites, um, where is it, and you can change his beard, you can give it, oh shit, it's been a while since I've used these controls, you've got like a full on beard which looks badass if you ask me I think I quite like the like stubble a bit more but a full beard looks pretty cool and he's got like a little goatee not really a fan of that and that's just wrong <laughs> the moustache and one of the hairstyles you can actually give him a mullet which is funny where's the hairstyles the hairstyle. there they are it's like choppy I think that's the this is that's basically the look I finished the game with when I finished it first time round. So you've got that's like the cannon survivor Carl. That's like from the first game. That's the hairstyle I've been playing with a bit. I started off with that hairstyle, which I think is quite cool. It's kind of like Anakin. I actually made him um, when I was playing the first time round actually try to make him look like Anakin with like that hair then I picked like a similar outfit to, like Anakin's in Revenge of the Sith obviously picked a blue saber because you can't actually get the parts well I have unlocked the parts for the Anakin saber so you can actually make his saber exactly the same as um as Anakin's that one's quite cool Got, like an undercut going on Quite cool. It's a bit, bit edgy. Not really a. F I mean, that's all right. It's very short. Actually, like I think he suits that. And yeah, I'm just like a fan of like the messy, choppy look. I'll probably stick with that for for the moment. Um, can't really show you anything else yet. You've got the. You've just got so much more customization compared to um. Fallen Order. Some of these are locked. This is like the Jedi um, robes. I think I rocked that look for quite a while, which I thought was quite cool. I, think I might have had a purple saber with this look. Um, and then the other jacket I started the game with was one of my favourites, which was that one. Exile. 
especially in the white with the black pants with like a white saber or a purple saber uh, I think I might have rocked that one for a bit with like a blue saber so you can just change it up as you go just so it doesn't get um, just so it doesn't get boring but um, and that's my saber design but you can't really see it you need a workbench to be able to look at it but it's not the um, it's not like the canon Carl saber it's the one that I designed but I just will take a look when we get to a workbench and you can actually customize BD a lot more as well. So he's um, currently customized at the moment, but I can't remember where to go. I have to look at the map. So come from that way. Uh, go that way, I guess. That is no, not that way. Oh, Got to get up there. Somehow. Yeah. Yeah. What are we looking for? Suspects man. Was last seen on Doc 27. They say he's a Jedi. Yeah, we did. Watch him. Could be a Boom. Boom. Oh, uh, fuck off. That's such a shield. Ah, here we go. Oh no. Is that another workbench? Oh no, it's not. Actually, I think the first workbench is, um. Oh, you fucker. I can see that bastard. Boom. Tight squeeze. There's the senator's ship. There's the yacht. What we need to get there? A yacht. That's the spirit BD. We'll get it. Yeah, look, this first whole level in Coruscant. Um, I just thought it was so cool. We've wanted to go to Coruscant in like a Jedi game for like, well, any Star Wars game for ages just a shame that it was like the depths of Coruscant so you can't actually you don't actually get to go to the surface like we've seen in the um, like obviously the movies but the whole level the whole first level in Coruscant the depths of Coruscant is just pretty cool kind of like what um, there was a game going to be released I think it was almost finished but it ended up getting shelved called 1313 which um where to go here. Oh, yeah. um, I think it was like all in the depths of Coruscant and you were going to be like a bounty hunter. It was one of George Lucas's ideas. But for whatever reason, last minute the game got rough. That's sick. Oh shit. I've forgotten how to block. How do I block? Oh, just... That's block button again. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh -huh. oh, love that move so much. It's so good. Uh, do I, must go? I see it. Yeah. yeah, the um, the yeah, the gameplay. Um, I love this how you can just lift them up and actually um. Oh fucking hell. Okay. Made a bit of a meal of this. Shit. Made a bit of a meal of that. Um, the gameplay, uh, the customization, everything is just like. A big level up from Fallen Order. But I would actually say the story I'm probably a bit more of a fan of for the first one. Although this is still a very cool story. Oh. And he's just <laughs> and he's just decided to wake up. Come and lick in me face. 
Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit. Hang on. Why is he not grabbing onto that? What the hell? Why are you not grabbing onto that? What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? I'm supposed to go that way, aren't I? Yes. Why is he not? Oh, no. Getting closer. Hanging in there, BD. Uh, which way go? Don't look down. Shit. <laughs> and here is the introduction to our. Partner, not him. This guy, who you thought was a bad guy. Boom. There he is. What took you so long? Oh, you know, just hanging out, <clears throat> taking in the sights. <clears throat> It's been a while since I was on Coruscant. <laughs> mm. Thanks, Boat. Part of the job, Gustus. Um, when I saw the dock collapse, I thought this heist might be over real When you fight, you'll actually fight together as a team now. Uh, you do some sort of sick to combos beyond. together we'll as well, which is pretty cool. Oh, and Bravo said no comms. Like throughout the game, he teams up with different best. different people. One of who you might recognize from the first game. Coop and Liz are probably starving by now. Hungry Clatuinians. The white saber's just that. sick. I know we've only seen like a soaker with the saber, uh, but it's just something Looks about like a, like a white saber. Which is, oh, there's the double bladed. No Forgot. I could do Let's that. I was thinking we couldn't unlock that until later, but it's uh, unlocked. If that's unlocked. Hang on. Can we not use the. Um... Can we not use the. I thought we could use the. Um... Not feeling so great, BD. Ah, uh, so I've only got single and double at the minute. But when I get to the next save point, I'll be able to use dual, so like two singles, which is probably my favourite, having two uh, dual. How are we gonna get you across? Uh, two, just two, like, like a sofa, basically. Well, that didn't work. They also have the cross guard in this game, and they also have a blaster stance, which is basically just a single saber, um, like that, and then in the, his offhand, he has a blaster. Which I used a little bit, but I wasn't that much of a fan of. It was cool for certain things, but uh, it wasn't my favourite stance. So you can kind of jump between different stances depending on the different bosses you fight. And I forgot what to do here. Oh yeah. Think you can knock down that crate? Worth a shot. There he goes. Okay. We can get up there. Somewhere. How the fuck do you go there? Okay. That jetpack's handy. Remind me to tell you how I got it sometime. There we go. Who taught you to move like that? My master. Every time I fell, he got me back on my feet. Sounds like a good teacher to me. Stormtrooper patrol. Looking for us. Better us than the yacht, yeah? Ah. Not that one. What is this one? Okay. Impressive. Who needs a jetpack? Ha! See that cable? On it, Kestis. Okay. 
Musica. Bucketheads below. No going around them. Then we go through them. Already when you are, Kestis. Let's go. Oh shit. What an epic fail that was. Oh god. Try that again, shall we? Fuck sake, these dark troopers are pretty tough. Speak binary, but I hear you, BD. Team effort. The yacht's just over there. Let's try up that way. Quit reading my mind, Jedi. Swing across there. Oh, here we go. Save. Breathe. So, we'll save it. And we will change the stance of the single to the dual. So there you've got the blaster stance, like I say. Which is alright, but as I say, it's not my favourite. The cross guard, which I'll quickly show you. Ready. I'm with there you. There you go. So it's a really like heavy stance. It's almost like you're swinging a huge sword. Um, the damage it does is like it's the most damage out of all the stances. Um, so you can see it's very slow, but it's really powerful as well. So if you literally like one hit, it'll take them out. But it is very slow. So it's quite good against like the bigger enemy, like that big um, um, thingy before would have would have would have done that. All boss fights, it's pretty good for that. But my favourite is definitely the duel. So I'm going to change to dual wield, and then I was on my right, just keep the um, double bladed. I'm quite a fan of double bladed. And Maul, Dark Maul is one of my favourite characters. There we go, this is probably my favourite, this is sick. It would be cool if you could have had like one colour in one, so like red in one, in one hand, and maybe he's like white in the other or something, or like red and purple would be sick, like Revan. But uh, yeah, you just... Uh... That's cool. Uh... So we'll rock that for a bit. We'll just change the lightsaber colour when we get to um, like the end of this level where you get to the actual ship. Um, we'll do some stuff to the saber. Change colours up. You can't change colours up here. You've got to have a workbench. So we're going to save it for now because I'm going to need to go and take the dog out. Um, but I'm just definitely keen to continue. Just got a little start just to get back into it. Get myself familiar with the controls. Um, yeah, I'll jump back in, do some, I'll do part two, and just keep it going, probably just play through the whole game again, because now I've got everything unlocked, it'll be fun to, fun to play it again, so, thank you very much for watching, anybody, 